Hello, Mioni here. And what's the problem with item level cheese in Alliance raids? What even is the problem? Is there even one to begin with? If you were unaware then, when doing your daily roulette duties in Final Fantasy XIV, the Alliance Raid Roulette specifically can be tailored to your own queuing needs, be that your real-life time limitations or based on your own preferences with some of the raids in question. Much of the later game Alliance raids require much more mechanical activity for the most part per player than many of the earlier raids, which leads some members of the 14 community to prefer the quicker, much easier raids with random players that are met through the Alliance roulette queue, where the skill threshold is obviously much lower than a pre-made. The problem then in Square Enix's eyes, and many outspoken forum users, is that people are using game mechanics to circumnavigate certain roulette raids by simply unequipping their gear, so that their item level requirement average, read by the Alliance roulette itself, is not met for the later raids and it can only provide the queuing participant with the lower item level instances as a result, such as Circus Town and the Labyrinth of the Ancients. It's very easy to pull this off, as you can see, you just unequip pretty much everything down to your birthday suit and some old low-level item ring or something, and then just simply queue. Boom, it's one of the old raids. All you need to do is get to an average item level of around 70 or just a bit higher, which is literally impossible for a level 80 to do so without unequipping everything. We then just re-equip our gear with one of our buttons or in the gear selection menu, and we're back up to our synced parameters like everyone else that's queued here normally. Alternatively, here's a run with your normal gear equipped, so this is just normal level 80 stuff. Now you'd think you'd get Orbon Monastery or any of the new instances, but due to the amount of people already cheesing the item level restrictions for the lower raids, 9 times out of 10 you'll still get put into the older raids such as Lab and Circus Tower once again. Based purely on the fact that more people are queuing with lower average item levels than they are in their level 80 gear. So, is this a problem? If you want to do specific alliance raids through the roulette, then yes, but then you could just queue for those raids specifically under the raid tab itself. I think the majority of the discomfort then comes from people expecting there to be more variety with the content the alliance raids could actually pop, as opposed to the same thing each and every time. We actually talked in a previous week about how the frontline roulette became stale and frankly pointless when Square Enix themselves took every other frontline from that roulette and put only on Shal Haki here as the only option to pop, which is the new frontline, which many of us thought and still think, well, what's the point in calling it a roulette then if your choices are only the one same thing? This really represents a much bigger problem, I think, with the whole roulette system in general then, and I don't know how they're going to fix it. So what are the solutions? Square Enix in various interviews and mentions seem to acknowledge this issue exists, but then, as mentioned, they end up adding to this problem by changing the frontline roulette to just one thing, which to me is completely stunning that you know that this is a problem, that people are not getting variety out of a roulette, so you go and change one of the others to be just one thing. I, I don't understand how it can still be a roulette. So there have been lots of community ideas that people have come up with as potential solutions for this, which aren't all as popular as uh, you'd imagine, such as item level locking people as what they queue as. The example given is if they come into Labyrinth of the Ancients in item level 70 gear, you make it so that they cannot change gear inside the instance, which whilst sounding painful would really only affect that person. Your problem there is if you queue with three other people and they're in their normal gear, then there's only really one of those people with item level 70. You'll still get the Labyrinth of the Ancients as an example for your group, as the system will obviously prioritize the lowest item level person there as the basis for what can actually pop. Other people have said to simply make the queuing restrictions much harder, higher item levels appropriate to the current content and the level of the person queuing, and then sync everything 
back down inside, which has the small problem of making it fairly impossible to queue for during the leveling process, which would be pretty bad to have to wait until maximum level to do any of the Alliance raids, so that's not really an answer either. There are no clear-cut answers to this problem with the current way the game actually works mechanically, but is it actually an issue in the first place that needs to be fixed? For the purposes of this video, I actually queued all day a few Alliance raids directly as a DPS. Yes, the queue times were way longer than the roulette, but they still eventually popped. Perhaps then the quicker Alliance roulettes is really a reflection on the difficulty curve of that sinking system rather than the instance itself. We saw mid Stormblood how the Rabanasta raid went from being completely tough for random Alliance groups to get through to instantly painfully easy with just one single patch, literally skipping the first boss's last phase entirely because the sync had been tweaked to allow you to carry much more power through the instance. So is it the case that some instances are tweaked better than others and the aforementioned mechanical changes are actually are more likely just more prevalent in the later raids because the item level sync is much more scrutinizing than it is in the earlier series? Anyhow, let me know what solution, if any, that you would put into the game if you were Square Enix, whether you think this is a problem in the first place or if you're quite happy just getting those really easy alliance raids, or if you think they should do something to the others to sync them better to make all of the roulette standardized in the amount of time it takes to clear. Either way, thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, come on, Qs, be good to me. There we go, instant Q, nice. Come on. Really? Come on. It's always one tank, isn't it? There's always the one tank who has an instant queue regardless, but... Oh no, there we are. But we're just waiting on two DPS. Come on, DPS, come back from the bathroom. I can believe in you. You can press a button. There's one. Come on. Where's the second guy? Come on, second guy. Come on. You can do it. Finish off at the bathroom. We need you. We need you for this footage. And, and he, he fell down the toilet. Brilliant.